We're on a little farm road in California's wine country. I like this view, this arching oak tree and the gravel road leading back toward those golden hills. Painting with our friend Christopher Leith Evans. Oh no, I got that guy too. Yeah, I think I got him too. Let's talk about the colors we'll be using. We got titanium white, cad yellow, yellow ochre, transparent red oxide, pyrrole red, cobalt blue, and Prussian blue. It's funny because I never saw Bob Ross until quite recently when people kept saying, you sound like Bob Ross. But one thing I really like about him is his sense of enjoying a painting and taking it easy on yourself. And in this case, I'm just starting with patches of color. I don't know where this is going to lead me, but with gouache, you can really fix mistakes. So it is forgiving. So my strategy on this one is to treat it like a coloring book and to paint the light areas first in a patchy sort of way and then cut the spaces between them, the shadows between them. I can use the tip of a round synthetic to get some of the smaller areas. This is a cat's tongue brush made out of squirrel hair. It holds a lot of water if you need it to, but it also works for light dry brush textures, for kind of dabbing. The overarching tree has hanging foliage that makes a dark tunnel and it casts a shadow of dark values across the road. And caught up in that shadow are all the fence posts and poles in the field just beyond. I use a round synthetic brush to draw those parallel lines across the road. And the foreground is in shadow too, the area where we're sitting. I love the idea of the road going in and out of light. By the way, thanks to all of you who subscribed after that last airliner video, which kind of went viral. For those of you who don't know me, I'm the author and illustrator of Dinotopia. But before that, I wrote The Artist's Guide to Sketching, and I love to take people on art adventures. Now I'm changing the color of the sky by using opaque watercolor or gouache. Then I can switch to really fine, thin, long, round brushes for the shadow side of the trunk of the smaller tree. And then split the hairs of the brush to get some small leaf textures. Here are some of the fence posts in shadow. And then I can come in over the dry paint with some colored pencils to get textures that are harder to get with the brush. So 20 to 4. Thanks. Okay. And I thought the camera would be now 4, 4.30. Okay. Yeah. And I don't, you were thinking of, you want to get back by six or something? I'm going to wrap up here, use a little chalk, and put in some final details. The little painting I did in gouache and watercolor. And Chris worked in oil, and he did a beautiful painting to capture the light of the Sonoma County afternoon. Okay, thanks for watching. You might want to check out my website or subscribe to my channel. And then here's a playlist with more good stuff and a video that continues the story. So check them out and share with your friends.